They're so excited. Diversity. We're so excited about it. It's something we crave inherently in everything. In your own lives. And something Denver South High School students who attend one of the most diverse schools in the state crave within their classrooms. Though over the past few years, they haven't necessarily seen it in the way they crave it most. I mean, anybody who goes to a high school curriculum sees that there are a lot of straight white male authors. And over the past few years, teachers have been working to diversify. So we've added African American lit, Hispanic lit, women's lit. And last year, let's move around. A student approached Mr. Craig with a voice still missing from the curriculum one representing the LGBT community in literature. I think the coolest part about it was that it was actually the student who brought it up and wanted it to happen. Number two, the claim is, it is harder to be a feminine guy than a masculine girl. Mr. Craig's is the first queer literature class in DPS and among the first nationally. It's just yet another way to include more voices that represent our staff and student populations. Populations this is really important to me and that I have often asked why not dig into the history of this topic if it like race and gender is just part of who we are. It's good for people to not shy away from those conversations. Like we wouldn't shy away from talking about racism even though it can be really awkward in the classroom. This is just another form of oppression that we really have to talk about. It's really cool having a class um, that teaches um, acceptance. I was extremely appreciative and thankful that he made it. So yeah, I just think it's where you're from. And like, students like, use debate to, to gently understand different viewpoints. I feel like it's very hard for a man to be feminine as to a woman being masculine. When opinions can be as diverse as the school's population. And we just had a kid transfer in. He moved here from Missouri and he's like, we never would have had a gay literature class. Right. And I was like, well, why do you think that is? And he's like, because people are so scared and there's no need to be. More concerning than that, says Mr. Craig, would be accepting an education that isn't whole. One of the problems that you see is if all you ever read is white male authors and you're not a straight white male, um, you never see yourself as somebody who could be that person. Like, I can't be an author because that's not what people like me do. And I feel like the more you represent, the more you see, the more you can envision yourself as an author or a creator or understanding the world and knowing that you're not alone. Instead, the diversity these students and this teacher so crave is expanding. I know we did the right thing. And I hope, I hope it changes a kid's life. For DPS Features, I'm Ben McKee.